this year, I asked. So I tell you, they accepted the meaning of angel as messenger and they accepted the meaning of destinies to make firm establish. So I guess and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Christy Waters Forsyth. But before that, I'd like to say thank you for watching this show live at a later date, as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray, and I help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform their present, so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny. Now, each episode of this show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or an angel card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Christy Waters Forsyth. We'll be sharing her wisdom about using your intuition for your most powerful life to help you with your calling and passion. Christy is the owner of an intuitive wellness business called Clarity, providing services online internationally. She is a psychic medium, licensed mental health counsellor, certified life coach, energy healing practitioner, and certified clinical hypnotherapist. She combines all of this experience and training to create a service she calls Soul Therapy, an intuitively led coaching experience. Throughout her life's work, Christy has dedicated herself to helping people to heal and to achieve their highest potential. She works with individual clients all over the world. Christy teaches many classes, both personal and online. Most of them around topics of intuition, connecting with the angels, self-development, and finding magic that exists in this world. She creates videos delivering messages from the angels and on the universal energy to help people understand how best to navigate it. So without further ado, hello, Christy, and welcome to the Angels and Destiny hello. Show. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. I'm just... Uh, um, just checking to see if we have actually gone live. And I think we have, although now I've gone and lost it completely. On here. Yes, we are live. Are live, okay. So <laughs> Yay. I'm to be live because. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been yeah, we're, 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 we're live, so I'll come out of that now. Um, so before, before we get into this fascinating <laughs> conversation, then whether you're watching live, hopefully, or the recording, then please hit the like love button as I love seeing hearts and thumbs appearing across the screen. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to it so you can get updates on all recordings. You can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts as both Christy and I want to be part of this conversation. So please don't be shy. We'll try to say hello to everyone who says hello and answer any questions or comments live or once the show has finished. So, Christy, why don't you tell us more about yourself and then how using your intuition for your most powerful life can help with your calling and passion? Okay. Um, so I have been on such a journey, you know, really throughout my entire life. Uh, I, I felt like a big part of my purpose has been in learning to connect with my own intuition, learning to honor my own intuition, and learning how to teach other people how to connect with and honor their intuition. And so I've been on this journey for quite some time. And so for me, where that started was in childhood. And I would have experiences with what I now know to be angels with these interactions and these conversations and sort of these voices that would just kind of help guide me throughout situations <laughs> in childhood and uh, these magical little interactions that I would have. And it took me a while to understand that not everybody had those experiences or knew what the heck I was talking about when I would mention that. Um, but I, I, I had this awareness. And so this transitioned into at some point me understanding that maybe not everybody had this experience and at some point that sort of settled down and I wasn't having that as much, but I always throughout childhood intuitively would still connect with people. I always have been an empath where I've just understood people's feelings and what it is that they needed from me and how I could best help them. And so that was kind of always present. And then for, uh, as a teenager, I started to, 
have more experiences again with that and um, had some experiences with angels and, and started to get interested in fine tuning my own intuition. And at the time that was uh, reading a ton of Sylvia Brown books. I was obsessed <laughs> with Sylvia Brown. I loved her. I thought she was the best and I just really connected with that. But what I found with uh, connecting with my intuition through that process was that I was opening up not just to connecting with the angels and connecting to my spirit guides, but I was also opening to other energies that were more scary. So uh, for me, you know, I, I started to see lots of activity and lots of stuff happening in my room at night. And I started to um, have, I would wake up in the morning with people standing around my bed, or I would wake my parents up like screaming in the middle of the night and things like that. So again, I kind of shut that intuition down and I just said, that's it, I'm done. I'm not reading these books. I'm not connecting in this way because this is really scary and I don't want to do this. Yeah. And uh, so, so this kind of, and then I sort of led a pretty regular life for a while, you know, always again, continuing to connect intuitively in terms of helping people. In fact, this is where I became a, a licensed mental health counselor. This is where I went to school for right. psychology, always understanding that I've wanted to help people and was meant to help people. So I, Graduated from school, I was working as a counselor for years, and some situations happened that sort of triggered and opened me up again. And I decided that this time around, I was going to open up, and I was going to be in charge of the way that I intuitively connected. And this is, by the way, for anybody who's looking to connect with their intuition, this is really where the power lies, right, is in being able to set boundaries around the things mm. that you're experiencing and saying, hey, I don't want to experience people standing around my bed. <laughs> yeah. morning, that's scary. Please don't do that. And, and, and simply by setting that intention and putting that out there, you can create boundaries around your intuition. And um, I had remembered, I was actually afraid to see angels again because I had remembered that Sylvia Brown had talked about her experiences with them and that they were these faceless, faceless, Creatures and they were huge and to me that just sounded really scary so I started yeah. to set boundaries around that and say no please like if you're going to appear to me please have a face <laughs> <laughs> that always like, well, helps yeah yeah and, and you know what when I set those boundaries it allowed me to really start to open up again and it allowed me to see angels with faces you know I started almost immediately to see angels again with people and and to reconnect with those energies and to feel them with people and I started to physically see auras around people and it became really clear that I wasn't going to be able to do traditional mental health counseling anymore yeah you know that I was I was gonna need to make some changes and the way that intuition works is a lot of times when it's time for us to make some changes we start to get these little urges right like oh maybe I I should do this maybe I should do that so I was starting to do that I was starting to do things like get my certification in hypnosis and um, starting to explore the possibility that I might at some point do something different than this counseling job that I had done for years that I had loved for years and I was starting to explore the possibilities around that but I wasn't moving very quickly with that and or as quickly as my guides and my angels maybe mm -hmm. wanted me to move with that. So what happens when we are not listening to those subtle little urges is I find that we tend to get more uncomfortable. Mm. Um, and, and, and so this is kind of when, um, enter, you know, um, a, a new boss who, who stepped in to offer, uh, the gift of helping to move me out of that job faster than I had intended of making yeah. me <laughs> so uncomfortable, um, in the shifts and the changes that she brought in and with the energy that she brought in that it was like, wow, okay, this isn't something that I'm going to be sticking around for yeah. that I'm going to be, you know, moving for. And, and so that's kind of how I started to really expand with, with my business, with clarity and um, 
got a got an office and and started to do that part time at first and and then um, got a really clear intuitive message that it was time for me to go full time. And what was interesting is the thing about intuition is it's not always logical, mm. right? And so logically that wasn't the best time. I was really miserable at that work because I wasn't able to honor the gifts that were coming through and I wasn't able to just be who I was and um, you know, acknowledge the angel that was standing in the room with my clients. And I wanted to be able to do that, but I also, it was a situation where I was here at Clarity part-time and, and didn't have enough of a, a following and client base yeah. to really support myself. But here I was with this intuitive message and this discomfort that was saying, it's time. You need to take the leap. You know, leap in the mm. net will appear is, is kind of the message that I just kept getting. Um, and, and so as, as I do, I, I tried to feel that out a little bit more and just ask, show me, show me through signs and synchronicities. Signs and synchronicities are my favorite thing. I love to look for them. I love to connect with those. I feel like I'm in constant interaction with my guides and angels every single day because I'm always watching for these signs and synchronicities. And, and so the day before that I had decided that I was going to step away from this traditional job and with no money in the bank, you know, with no yes. saving, something like that, before I was going to take this leap, I said, okay, I need you to show me. And I actually ended up having, having to pull my car over because I was having a panic attack alongside the road. Um, because I had tried to go pray at this prayer tree that somebody had told me about, and I couldn't find the prayer tree. And I thought, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, this is a sign. <laughs> I, I need this. I need this so that I can know that this is going to be okay. And I wasn't able to do that. So I'm driving home and I said, all right, last chance. I need you to show me. I need you to show me that this is the right decision for me. I, I am going to put my trust in you. I'm going to connect with that and, and make a choice in alignment with what it is that you show me. So if this is right for me, I need you to show me. And I said, the next song that I play is going to be my on my phone is going to be my message from the angels. And so the very next song out of thousands of songs that I have on my phone was Brave by Sarah Bareilles. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, had been sort of a, a theme song for me uh, for, for quite some time in, in some of the things that I was working on. So it was just like, OK, got it, you know, yeah. and I made that leap. And with any leap, you know, there's always going to be some transitions and that mm. it, it took some time. But if I, I just continue to listen to that intuitive voice that was saying, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And have created this beautiful business with that. Yeah. Um, and, and so now what I provide at Clarity is what I call soul therapy, which is what you talked about. And it's really a combination of, of all of these things. It's mm. intuitive coaching. It's me connecting with, my guides and angels and, and people's guides and angels to help in this beautiful life coaching process that really is so individualized in, in helping people to connect with their own intuition and to make the changes in their life and to listen to that intuitive voice so that they can live their best life path. Yeah, because so I think a, a lot of people um, have, that in, have that intuition and have their voices, but they kind of like ignore them or they don't pay much attention to them and think, oh, it's just, you know, it's, 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 just, it's just something, yeah. Or they don't even hear them. Right, right. I, I, I kind of feel like that intuitive voice can be, is oftentimes quieter than the voice of fear. So a lot of times the voice of fear wins, right? Or the logical yeah. voice. And it's not that your intuition is always against logic because it's not, but, you know, a lot of times it is. <laughs> um, and it's a lot of times that that little voice that that just keeps coming in and it keeps it, it, and it'll get stronger and stronger and louder and louder, whether it's through just having a sense of what you're supposed to do or through that growing discomfort that comes in. Yeah. yeah. Everybody has intuition. Yes, they, they do. And if you're watching this, please say hello. So, so we know that you are that you are watching and we are still going live. Um, but yeah, no, everybody does. But 
yeah not um a lot of people don't tend to act on it or the, or they don't um uh, they don't believe in it and especially with the signs be, because i find that quite often it's more signs than um actual uh words or thoughts coming in, in into my head it'll be you'll be thinking about saying and then oh that's that's happened and that and that that ties ties in you know um, I, I i remember um a life-changing trip um that I, that I that i took back in 2000 and two possibly um where i i knew i wanted to go somewhere but i couldn't decide where i wanted to go um so i just thought i know what i'll do i'll just go on um lonely planet website and just see see what comes up first thing that came up was peru oh okay that looks interesting read a bit about it and that yeah that looks interesting so went online a few companies ordered a few brochures and that and then a few days later turned on the telly and there was uh, um stephen fry a uh 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 celebrity over here and he was doing a documentary on peruvian bears okay <laughs> that, that's kind of like yeah okay anyway the brochures come through looking at the prices oh not sure about this this company looks really good but you know it's, it's a little bit of my price range and at that time i was remortgaging and they mugged up the mortgage and they had to give me some extra money which was the exact amount of this company that it would take uh -huh. and then and then a little while um, later, so I was kind of like, oh, yeah, perhaps I, I ought to book this. Then someone I was working with at the time, her grandfather passed away. She said, oh, whilst I was cleaning out my granddad's attic, I came across this old um, Lonely Planet Guide of Peru and a map. And it was like, <laughs> OK, that, you know, I've got, I've got to book this. <laughs> and, that, and it turned out to be one of the most uh, amazing life um, changing experiences I've actually ever had. And I met some really um, brilliant people who even after this time, I'm still in touch with. So, so, so it is watching out for the signs and actually going with them a lot. A lot right. and I, yeah. And I think it's easy to miss those. I mean, those are all relatively subtle things, but at the mm. same time, if paying attention you're noticing hey oh that's showing up again for me yeah and if it feels like a sign it probably is and especially if it shows up three times or more then it mm. definitely is some form of a sign yeah it, it, and just listening to those <laughs> so um <laughs> if, so, so if people um you, you know the the, the watching is um, although they've not said hello yet, I can see there's people watching, but they haven't said hello yet. Um, so you can't don't don't be shy. Just just say hello. Um, yes. So if if they um, uh, you, you know they they're not sure, you know what what's the what's the quick way that someone can check, you know, can connect to their in, intuition because because we know that everyone's got it, but there are people that go, but I don't connect with it, no matter how I try. I don't connect. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's a lot of a, a lot of uh, ways to connect with our intuition, and I think that that's really important for people to keep in mind because what happens is we will have an interaction with somebody that we will deem as highly intuitive, right? And then that becomes the model for what highly intuitive looks like. Right. So mm. people have a conversation with me and I'm like, hey, I talk to angels and I interpret these messages. And their assumption is, oh, to be intuitive, I have to see an angel standing in front of me or I have to connect. And I think what's really important is that we're very careful about our expectations about what intuition feels like or what it is and, and how we're defining that for ourselves and that we are allowing ourselves to explore what that looks like for us individually, because there's so many ways that we experience intuitive information you know we uh, tend to experience it through the five senses and all of us have different gifts with that I always say you know for starting with your intuition really start to focus on tuning into the body because the body is our greatest intuitive tool so even if you set the intention to connect more with your intuition and then you take a few minutes every single day just to sit and close the eyes and have an awareness of what's going on in the body. It's just kind of bringing that awareness into the body. Oh, you know, I feel this little itch on my leg and, and I,
I, um, you know, this hair is on my face and that feel, I feel that and I feel my legs crossed and, and things like that. Just having that awareness is a really nice pathway into tuning in, but the body is a great, great pathway for that. And, and noticing how your body is responding in different situations. When you're interacting with a certain person, does your body feel up and light and good? Or do you feel like you have a pit in your stomach? Or do you <laughs> yeah. feel really anxious? Or do you feel, do you leave interactions feeling really angry with somebody? Or, or And just kind of noticing how you're picking up on that. And that's one of the ways that we can intuitively connect. And then, you know, other people will experience it through vision. And people expect that, you know, that everybody who is clairvoyant sees angels with their physical eye or auras with their physical eye. And you and I were talking and one of the ways mm. that you experience that um, is more, you know, with your mind's eye. Yeah. And, and feeling yes, the energy. It's the knowing. Yeah. And feeling. Uh, right. And, and, and that's the thing is I, I think a lot of people are having this expectation, have this visual image outside of ourselves and it's going to be this really mind-blowing powerful knock you on your butt experience and really what it mostly looks Okay. You know, so learning to kind of tune into like those little things that just sort of pop into the mind randomly or or Oh, you you've you've often... to me. <laughs> oh, can I... oh, can you yes. hear me now? I can, I can, I can, okay. I can hear you now. Okay, so I was saying <laughs> even in terms of clear audience, which is the hearing piece of that, um so uh, oftentimes, again, it's not like this voice that people hear outside of themselves, not this disembodied voice that's telling them what to do or giving them psychic messages. Or I mean, sometimes it is. Sometimes people have those experiences or that's the way they their gift connects for them. But oftentimes it's a thought that runs through your mind that's in your own voice in your mind. Maybe it feels a little different. Maybe it has a little bit of a different feeling than a regular thought that you're having. Uh, but, but sometimes it takes a little time to find fine-tune that and connect with what that feels like as well but a lot of times my point is that we're missing those messages because we have an expectation mm. of what that's supposed to be yeah 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 that yeah that that, that makes sense and, and everyone does um, experience it completely different um, in, in, right. it's, the same, it's the same with everything in life you know if you um, I don't know were to eat a curry, say, one person will experience it completely different to the other person, even though it's the same curry, because that, that's how it is. That's you as a unique individual compared to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it's it's so different for all of us. And, and you know, even um, you get into claircognizance, and which to me is actually a, a the most direct way that we can intuitively connect. So it's just this, this knowing like you were talking yeah. about. Um, that's really hard to tease out for people sometimes because they're like, I don't know. I don't know how I know that answer. I just know. It just came to me. I just know. And so many people are walking around with this ability to be claircognizant and to connect intuitively in that way. But it's, um, it's so just easily accessible in some ways that they don't recognize that they're doing that and that they're having that happen for them. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I, I mean, we'll go back to me with, with that, you know, I'll be busy um, teaching or talking to somebody and I'll just be going nine to the dozen going blah, 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 blah. And, that, and then I go, does that make sense to you? Because that that's all it is. It's just literally the, whatever the, the channeling or whatever. And it just mm -hmm. comes out of my mouth. Yeah. Yeah, it just does. And then and and sometimes you're even like, oh, what did I just yeah. say? What did I say? <laughs> Half the time I can't remember. <laughs> you know, and I also think that so many of us are delivering messages to other people without even realizing it. We just feel compelled to say something or it just comes out of our mouth and um it turns out to be exactly what that person needed to hear, or what that person needed to tr trigger a response within them. Um, so we're doing it for each other as well. Yeah, yeah. So if you if you are watching this, you know, and you've got any um, experience of this, you know, please please type a, a comment in. And obviously, if you're watching this on the recording as well, uh, still still write it in because we will sort of like come back and look at anything that 
um, does get does get commented um, on here on here and that. Um, so as um, people know here, I tend to do guided meditations or angel card readings each week. But this week, Christy, Christy, sorry, Christy, I don't know why I call you Christy, you're Christy. Um, Christy has kindly offered to do a short guided meditation for us. So I don't have to use my voice. I can be quiet and just close my eyes and go with it. So Christy, do you want to go ahead and do the meditation? Absolutely. And I'm going to share this because I think that this is a really great place to start when you're wanting to connect with your intuition, because again, that intuition is going to be the roadmap for your life. It's, it's showing you the way every step of the way, what's going to be for your highest and best good. And, and for me, that meditation is huge and key for opening that up. And, mm -hmm. and so this is a meditation that for me, I think it's really simple that everybody can remember and that takes us into a nice, relaxed place very quickly. And um, and then we can make those connections to our intuition. Cool. Well, All right. Cool. All right. So I'll let everybody just kind of close those eyes and get relaxed. Just letting yourself get comfortable in the space that you're in. Taking a moment to be mindful of the breath. Allowing each and every breath to get a little bit slower, a little bit deeper than the last breath. Inviting in that calm and relaxation. Taking a beautiful few moments for yourself just to relax. And while you allow that breathing to continue to be slow and easy, I want you to imagine a spark of light right there in your heart center, right there where your heart is. And I always like to say that this spark of light is the spark of God, the spark of the divine, the spark of the universe that exists within us. So just noticing that spark And with every slow, deep breath, just imagining that you are expanding that spark throughout the body. Just slowly and easily allowing that light to expand to every cell, every bone, every organ of the body. Completely filling yourself with love light, joy, peace, and healing. I'm just really enjoying this powerful energy that you have created, that has always existed within you. And we also want to invite that energy to expand outside of the body so it can continue to grow. Creating a bubble all the way around the body, all the way above the head, all the way below the feet. Completely surrounding you with love light, joy, peace, and healing. And again, just taking a moment to allow this light to expand, to feel the peace and love connected with this energy. and even to feel gratitude for the ability to access this energy at any given moment. 
simply through using this visualization. And taking in one more big deep breath. Just enjoying that energy. And bringing that energy back to this room and back to this moment with one, two, three, four, five. Allowing those eyes to open slowly, coming all the way back. Oh, that was lovely. I don't know about any of you watching, but I, uh, it was so nice. There's this beautiful warm energy just flowing all around me. And it's like, oh, I could stay here for ages. <laughs> <laughs> and the best thing is you get to take that with you when you create that. Exactly. So I start my day with that meditation. Um, that for me just really always helps to reconnect me with my light. Yeah, it was good. Um, Jackie's got a little smiley face on there. Hi, Jackie. Hello, which is cool. Hi, Jax. Um, and Darcy, Davis, Palenica. I would love to learn more about this. Um, so, Darcy, um, more about the guided meditation or intuition. Um, you know, let, let us know more what you're, what, you know, exactly what you'd love to learn about or, or, or the whole thing. Um, uh, Darcy, if you're interested, and I can share this in the comments, I do have uh, this meditation recorded and on my YouTube channel, so I can share that and and let you guys connect with that if you want to do that again. Yeah, that 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 be absolutely that be absolutely brilliant if you could uh, um, if you could uh, uh, put put that link there. So. Um, before we wrap this up, have you got any insights or thoughts to leave our viewers? I, you know, I just, I, I want to encourage people to listen to that intuitive voice. You know, I think um, we're so programmed to listen to the fear, to listen to our the things that we feel like we have to do or we're supposed to do and 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 then over here we're getting these intuitive thoughts about something else that we're meant to be doing and i think that the more that we can begin to honor that intuitive voice and the more that we can begin to take action in that direction this is where the magic begins this is where we can find our most magical life our most successful life our most fulfilled life and so just beginning to allow yourself step by step to connect with that intuition to listen to those impulses that come to mind that feel connected to that intuitive voice yeah yeah, that 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 makes an um, absolute uh, sense. Um, so uh, Darcy has said intuition, and she's also yes, that would be perfect, Christy. Thank you. So I think that's to do with the putting the video, the okay. um, the, the video. Up. So apart from um, putting the uh, video up, um, and I hope everyone has really enjoyed these. Uh, enjoyed this and found it insightful in the words of wisdom that Christy has given you will help you further on your journey. So Christy, if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? Probably the best place to connect with me is over my website and my website is discoveryourawakening.com. Um, and you can find me on Facebook or Instagram at Christy Clarity. Okay, brilliant, because Darcy said, I'm kind of stuck in my life right now. I have a strong feeling that I'm supposed to be helping people. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Um, so, so, yes, you're, you're, um, connecting with your intuition would, would give you, um, a, a, you know, an idea um, about that. And as, as Christy was, um, you, you were saying earlier, the um, easiest way to start is to tune into your body. Mm -hmm. And... and, and, and Keep listening. So, so you have that feeling, and that's your intuition showing you the way. And I always say that it's kind of like breadcrumbs. They don't usually give us the whole picture right, right. away. 
like I feel like I'm supposed to be helping people and then I feel drawn to take this class or or, or go to this event or and in one thing leads to the next leads to the next leads to the next so don't expect to have the big picture you you kind of have to put your trust in in God's hands and your God's hands and the angels hands and and follow it step by step understanding that these are breadcrumbs in the direction of where you're meant to be going exactly and look out for little signs um yeah. you know like you switch on the computer and there's something there or you put a record on and and there's uh, and and say and say your attention your intention as well you know um you know i'll ask you know ask please show me a sign um of what i'm supposed of what i'm supposed to do um that that quite often is the easy straightforward thing to do and then as as chris said earlier sort of like be aware of what what you might see what you might hear come in yeah be open to the idea that that magical things can show up for you and they can show up in in the form of signs and synchronicities so keeping your eyes open and what we tend to do is we tend to minimize the signs that come our way like <laughs> oh, maybe that wasn't you know um but but keeping your eyes open and beginning to watch for patterns of what's showing up for you yeah ab absolutely so so thank you very much christy um uh for, for the guide and wisdom that that, that, that you've uh, um, that you've come today um now for um those that, um, that want to take further um you know christy will be um putting her details in the comments um for you to connect with her and or i'll be putting them in we uh which whichever way we come and she put in the guide meditation um, and as you know, I'm the founder of Radio Ancient Energy and I use um, Angelic Reiki, Future Life Progression, Past Life Regression Meditation, Angel Cards Meditation um, to help women who feel lost get clear on their path and their destiny and their journey. So if you need help and um, finding taking charge of your destiny and getting clear on your path, then I would also love to be that guide for you. So reach out and connect with me. As I'd love to book a free 20, 30 minute Skype or Messenger uh, with you to have a quick chat to find out more about each other and how I can help you on your journey. Um, so before I actually finish the last bit, Darcy has actually said, yes, I think I definitely need to pay more attention to signs. Most definitely. Absolutely. Um, there, there, there's, so many diff there's so many different signs out there. And if you want to uh, um, put any more comments, then um, show us about to wrap up, but then please do, Christy and I will go through and look at them. And if you are watching this on the um, recorded, then please type in replay and let us know that you're watching this um, on the replay. Now, next Wednesday, the 20th at 8 p.m., I'll be doing a guided meditation for an initial subject that you would like. So this is something different. So rather than me choosing, I would like you to comment or send me a message and um, by this Sunday with suggestions of what you would like me to do for this guide to meditation. So saying slightly different this time. So again, thank you for watching and thank you so much, Christy, for being here and the guide to meditation. It was absolutely brilliant. And thank I was you for Oh, you're well, you're welcome um, anytime. And everyone, I will see you next Wednesday. So take care. Bye.